We are here in London again. We have Dr. Mary Travers with us from the BBSRC, and I'm delighted to present her to you. So, hello. Uh, so, can you tell us a few things to start with for your career path so far? Yep, so I've actually come into the nutrition area fairly recently. Um, so my research background, my PhD was in type 2 diabetes at the University of Oxford, um, which obviously has relevant to lifestyle factors, so diet and exercise, that kind of thing. But I finished my PhD and decided that academic research wasn't for me. Um, so I actually initially went into medical writing, so I did a freelance medical writing for a year or so. Um, and then I decided that science policy was really what I wanted to do. So I went to work for the BBSRC, which is the Biotechnology and Biological Sciences Research Council, um, based in Swindon. And I initially worked in the corporate policy and strategy department, so dealing with parliamentary inquiries, interaction with government, that kind of thing. Um, and then I moved into science strategy group, so I'm on the Bioscience for Health strategy team. And within that, I have particular responsibility for the work that we're doing in food, nutrition and health. So I've had quite a circumventory route into the nutrition field. Okay, that <laughs> looks like an interesting way and a lot of different things you've been involved to. So can you tell us what you enjoy most about your job right now? Um, I really like the fact that I get to be really close to the science, so I get to read papers, I get to come to conferences such as this, I talk to the academics, but I'm not actually doing the science um, because I find the results and the nature of the science really interesting, but I didn't like the pipetting of the lab work. <laughs> um, so, so I like the fact of being close to the science, thinking about the science, feeling like I'm making a difference to what science is being funded. I find that re really interesting and re really rewarding as well. What kind of skills do you think are needed for a job like yours? Um, I think the primary skills are communication skills, so both written and spoken. So I'm talking to a lot of academic, academic stakeholders from government and from industry. So the ability to appreciate the big picture and talk to them is really, really essential. To give presentations, to produce written documents, so briefings, these kind of things. Um, so it's about being able to communicate science but in a way that's accessible to people who aren't necessarily science specialists. I think it's a really important skill. Right. That's great. So. A lot of students will leave their graduate scheme and they will start to try and find funding and apply for jobs. So what kind of skills do you think they should have before pursuing a career in research to start with? And then I have a second question to follow up on that. <laughs> um, well, if they're, if they're looking to apply for, apply for funding, then they really need to be looking at the different potential funders out there, one of course of which is BBSRC, and to look at their, the areas of science which they're interested in, so their strategic focuses, and make sure that they're tailoring their, tailoring their applications to the areas of science which each funder is really, really interested in. Do you think there are any specific things that should look out when they're filling up their application? So are there any big do's or big don'ts that you, they, sh they should have in mind? So the big thing for BBSRC is to make sure that you're in BBSRC's remit, so we're diff different to the other research councils, so to make sure that you're applying to BBSRC and not science that should be in one of the other councils. Um, one thing that's re it's really important to pay attention to is the pathways to impact statement, which we require on all our applications. So this is about how the research that you're doing might have applicability um, in wider society or to the economy. And um, it's often much neglected by people who fill in their application forms, so I would urge people to pay proper attention to that. Okay, I think that's all great. Thank you very much for your time and for the help, and I think everyone will, be, will find it helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you.